Sorry, man. I know you're good with me, dude. That was gonna sound good. What's up, guys? Right now we are getting loaded up for Cletus and Cars Indy. Hope to see a whole bunch of you out there. I just wanted to let you know, for anyone who shows up in Boosted Boys merch, we have an extra stack of NSX posters over here, and I'm just gonna be giving these away to anyone who shows up in Boosted Boys merch for free. So all you gotta do, go up to our booth wearing our merch and ask for an NSX poster. Obviously, while supplies last, but we got a pretty good stack of these left for you guys. And if you don't want an NSX poster, I was gonna give away this stuff at the event anyways as well. This is just some leftover shirts and goodies we get from the companies we work with. We have like a whole bunch of Nitto uh, lanyards and key tags, Hucks Racing hats, shirts, fuel tech stuff. Um, the companies always send us merchandise with the products and we just could not wear all of that. There's just no way. So I'm gonna go ahead and give all that stuff out to you guys as well. So come check out our booth for, you know, some free posters if you have some merch or some free company shirts that work with us regardless. So hope to see you guys out there. We have some testing to do with the MR2 tonight. And uh, yeah, we got a long day ahead of us, boys. So let's get to it. Finally giving the hatch an oil change here. That was much needed. That is some nasty looking oil. I don't remember the last time we gave this thing an oil change, but it looks like we're going to be bringing this and the MR2 out to Cletus and Cars Indy. And we might just chain this thing up and do an all wheel drive burnout in the burnout box if they will let us. Got the MR2 all loaded up and we are getting ready to bring her on a little bit of a trip because we got ourselves a custom drag wing in the works. And we're gonna go get this thing installed. guys i got the mr2 over here at a place called fc auto lab and this is falcon we actually met at sema turns out he had a shop just down the street from us here in tampa and i've been talking to him a little bit he said if i need anything as far as like aero or body kit stuff or you know just anything for the mr2 to hit him up because he loves his mr2s there's several around here a lot of the mr2 yeah, community really knows this guy and uh working on the fastest mr2 in the world it is a freaking honor so I'm down, baby. I hit him up, said that we need a drag wing for the car. And I kind of told him what I was thinking. And he put something together for us. And if you look over here. Like, like I always say, you dream it, we turn it into reality. We have ourselves a wing, boys. Check this out. This wing looks freaking amazing. And dude, it actually clears the parachute. I was worried we are going to have to remount the parachute because of how high up it is. But that is actually going to work perfect. It is gonna look so much better with that on there. So we got the four billet brackets with the initials FC, which stands for Falcon Creations. So we're gonna put the plates in here that are gonna be drilled and tapped, recess holes, put the bolts in here, that will mount to here. And then the wing, this will be drilled and tapped also. The wing will mount to here and you will have four of them going across the trunk. Yeah, and you were able to make all this because my carbon trunk uh, replicates a factory trunk. So yep. luckily yep. he didn't need the car here exactly. to make all of that work. Yep. But and I have 12 MR2s at the shop, so yeah. I got plenty There is fit. a lot of MR2s. There's a K-Swap yep. one right here, another one right here. I'm sure we'll show a couple more as we walk around the place. And you just moved into this building, right? This is Yeah, a, a month ago new location and for you kind of exploded the point is you got to do good work and do things that nobody else does and that's what we like to do oh yeah well i know the mr2 is going to be in good hands this guy does some killer work and i'm just so pumped with how that wing turned out that thing is going to be awesome so yeah i told him that i wanted a wing that wrapped around and i really wanted to add uh these right here uh, my thought is that the air coming over the car having some sort of splitter almost like a little rudder back here will help redirect the air because this car does get a little squirrely up top. I think this is gonna be a huge help for the MR2 at high speeds, but yeah, just look at that. That really completes the look of the car. When you don't have this, the way the MR2 is designed, you do create a lot of turbulence on the back of the car. Having this, it's actually gonna make you faster because now the air is gonna come out like an arrow. It's not gonna be a turbulence happening on the back of the car. There'll be no holding back. Yeah. And um, I wanna show you a bumper that I designed for this car that I'm making you on. Watch this. Oh 
yeah, that is perfect. Okay, so this is completely enclosed. And he, I, take, I took the concept of the Honda Civic. So right now, this is from just transporting. I gotta fix these two little cracks, make the mold out of this, and then I can make the bumper from the mold that I'm making out of this. This is actually an original bumper from the MR2 that I filled it all with foam, and then I shaped it to be like this. Let's put that on front of the car. Be curious to see what that thing does at 190. <laughs> <laughs> so the car will look like this instead. Yeah, it's all closed off. Yep. That's what we need because we just threw a piece of sheet metal over the opening to kind of help. But two guys in the world, we just bought it. You and Scott Brandon. That's it. I will never make it to nobody else. And the wing is only two people. You and Scott Brandon. And yours is one of a kind because yours is different than his. <laughs> and I will never replicate another one. I want you guys to be exclusive. This is definitely going to make a difference too for aerodynamics. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, because that is going to create you don't fuse. As 160 miles, this right here will create a ton of don't fuse. This lip coming out at the bottom here will Just definitely will catch the air. Huge difference, yep. For huge sure. Difference. I was always worried about the front end being so light that I was actually going to add like little canards. Yep, yep. So that when it actually got up and going, it had something to That's why hold the what nose I did down. That's my car, because I mean, uh, when we started going up and up and up, it started picking up when I put the 315s on the back, now he pops a wheelie. But when we did all those canards and the new splitter, I can actually hit a Bach 30 and feel the car very stable. And before, it was a little, it starts getting floaty. And not no more. What you think, seeing it in person? I love it. I mean, the last time that I um, mentioned you, that I was gonna help you out, Eric Hawks jumped on the post and he was, um, he actually directly to you said, Falcon will be a good person to help you because he knows. I mean, I love the MR2 community and I don't care what you have on the engine bay. If K24, whatever you got in there, I love MR2s and I mean, you, you became an idol on, on this thing. So everybody looks up to you and to me, it is an honor to actually be able to touch your car. So. I appreciate it, man. Honestly, you'll make it look a lot better than I do. We just like to make them go fast, but that's it. You go not fast, very pretty. I make it look nice. <laughs> I think we'll have a great relationship oh, yeah. if we keep that hell up. Yeah. So we got an MR2 over here. 91, completely unmolested. This thing is pristine. Um, needs time and belt. This one, it was actually expired by you. The guy started watching your channel and motivated him to take the 3S GTE out and put the K24. If I ever blow the engine on my car, that's exactly what I'm doing too. Dang, so this so, one was Boosted Boys inspired? Yes, sir. Boosted Boys made this happen. What's this guy's name? Um, Lou. He's Lou? from Orlando, yes. And nice. we were talking today, and as soon as I announced you were coming to the shop, he's like, please have him look at my car. <laughs> so well, I said, Luke, I, I like it. This thing's yeah. sick. Uh, we got an RX-7 here. We got an S13 that I'm doing full roll cage. This is actually going to be a full spec drift car. This one is gonna be a 2GR big single turbo. That's a wide body. Another K24 inspired by you guys. Once again, Kyle made this guy take the 3S GTE out and go and now he's gonna have a K24. That's why I'm doing the roll cage, painting the engine bay, painting the whole car. And then um, this is another one that made a, you made it happen. This one came all the way from uh, California. We're gonna run a Link ECU and do a bunch of work to it. This right here is Nick's car. I did a custom roll cage. I notched all the interior pieces, full paint job. And then back here, we have another one. This was a bolting nut restoration. This car was down to the shell. And um, it's got a first two GR in the world with stage three cams running on a Link ECU. And I mean running beautifully. It's got three exhaust tips because the bottom one, it's actually a um, straight pipe. It's got an activator inside, right on the side of the seat. You can just pull it and right, it becomes straight go. pipe. And I was talking to him about this one specifically too. I like how they widened the rear right here. Yeah, and we actually, we, were... we cut it the whole inside of the wheel housing. We stretched it and then we massaged it a little bit. It fits a 275 zero camera on your car. I'm gonna approach it different. I'm actually gonna cut the quarter all the way down 
and I'm gonna cut the wheel housing out and then I'm gonna make your quarter come out from the tail light all the way out and then come all the way in. So it will look factory, but it will be a lot wider than this. Which will be sweet Can't because wait to do. we need to put a bigger tire on the back of the MR2, but we can only go so wide because of the factory quarters in the back. Yep. So this will be our solution. Get some more traction, throw some more power at the launch. You're gonna make it Send happen. that thing. Yep. So many MR2s, it is pretty crazy to hear that a couple of these have been inspired by our channel. So if you guys are watching, I will be checking up on your builds as we come and visit. Oh, and and don't uh, worry. Thank we you guys. Got, we got more MR2s that were is, is inspired by you guys that are coming here for full paint jobs so they can throw the K24 in. This is not the only ones. We got three more on the hold right now. Dang. So you the, guys are- The boys are out there. <laughs> thank you guys for watching and doing everything you do. We're building a little MR2 community over here. Yes, it's crazy. Sir. Alright guys, the wing is on and it looks so freaking sweet right now. We are getting ready to test that the trunk still opens properly. As you can see we have these uh, Zeus clips on both sides to hold these corners down and make sure those aren't flapping at high speeds. Everything is riveted into place. You can see all the brackets underneath that came out freaking sweet. Just got to get some tape peeled off the tail lights. They did have to weld some on the inside there. So shot some of that with some paint right there. We'll touch that up later but that is looking sweet. Really glad that we didn't have to modify the parachute. Open her up. Hell yeah, dude. Look at that. Those brackets are badass. I'm meticulous and I like to take my time, but hey, we gotta do what we gotta do. Kyle gotta be on a racetrack tomorrow, baby. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Yeah, check that Not out. Not even a Mercedes closes like that. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I can almost twist that came the out so good. Nails. <laughs> if I had nails. <laughs> Late night, got the tees going. You know the deal. <laughs> wow. Nice. Looks like we know what we're doing. That came out so sweet. Good, it's normal. <laughs>
Sorry, man. Hey, no, you're good with me, shit. That motherfucker sound good. It's the first time to ask again. Hey, shit, you're good with my part. Thank you, man. Y'all have a good one. Yeah, you too, man. Hey, shit, I just come out to see what it was. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for tonight. We got the wing installed on the MR2 here. Huge thanks to Falcon. Thank you, man. Appreciate no problem, it. Over man. here at SC Auto Lab. A lot more Check to come out. into this baby. We are doing a lot more to this car. Stay tuned. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not bright enough to get a good look at yours. I mean, we can see it here with the spotlight, but this is his personal car. This thing is sweet. He has a lot of work done to this. Pretty much a show car of an MR2. So we'll have to come back when we can see that thing in the daylight. That thing is badass, but we just got the two cars parked next to each other just to grab a couple pictures here before we roll out. We were hoping we could get some testing in tonight, but unfortunately we just didn't have time. So we're loading the MR2 up and we are heading to Cletus and Cars tomorrow morning is when we leave and we're going to be out there untested. So bear with us if we have a couple test hits out there. Hopefully we can get her dialed in in front of everybody. But uh, it was definitely a time crunch for sure, but we got everything knocked out and we are ready to roll out for tonight, boys. This is my papa right here. He makes magic with his hands. So, Papa Julio. We got more coming up. Yeah, I yep. appreciate you guys. You got it. It came out so sweet. For everyone saying I need a wing, it finally happened, boys. <laughs> All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for the night. The wing came out so freaking good. We just got back to the house. It is a late night getting ready for Cletus and Cars right now. We are getting the hatch loaded up, and then we have a couple more things to do to the MR2, and we will be getting it loaded up. And we're heading out tomorrow morning. Hope to see a whole bunch of you out there. Cletus and Cars, Indy, it's gonna be a blast. Like I said before, we are bringing the MR2 out untested, so hopefully the stars align. And we can throw down a solid pass in front of all of you guys and hopefully get into the sevens once again. The turbo we got on this thing should be more than capable of doing that. Now that we have a drag wing, hopefully she's a little more stable up top at those high mile an hours. I mean, this thing's gonna have to hold on at 180 plus miles an hour. This thing is on there. Stout Falcon did a really good job, him and his team. That came out freaking sweet. So once again, huge shout out to them at SC Auto Lab. And uh, yeah, boys, that's gonna wrap it up. Hope to see you guys out there and we will uh, see you later.